Hello there, everyone. The Andrada here, and welcome back to episode 40 of our All the Mod 6 to the Sky Let's Play series. For today, we're going to continue towards, uh, or continue working with our power reactor here, um, and get us our dry ice in here, so that way we're running this thing as efficiently as we can, um, at least until we can get ether gas as our coolant. Um, so, first things first, I just, uh, I realized that you don't have to have the uh, importer or your imports at any specific spot on the multi-block. You can have them anywhere, it looks like. <clears throat> so here I have water being imported into the system. Um, and then here I have redstone, coal, and uraninite with a crafting card and a stack upgrade. And like you can see, this is where the, the port is, quote unquote, the port for the reactor. But I have the exporter going here. And if I go here and I take out the coal, look, it already immediately replaced it. So yeah, it doesn't have to be anywhere specific, it looks like. Um, and then I moved our flux plug up to the top just so that it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, but I like being able to just put this stuff, I don't have to worry about input, output, specific spots or anything like that. It, uh, you know, it just works. So yeah, anyway, we need to get um, ultimately dry ice. Um, and we're gonna do that by, you know, going through packed ice, blue ice and all that stuff. Now we have been creating ice essence. Um, we don't have a whole terrible too much ice essence, but we do have some. However, we're going to use this ice essence to start out our crafting of our packed ice. And what do I mean by that? Well, if we go through um, and we looked at our packed ice recipe, we have this nice little nifty tab here. Um, we could do pure daisy, one ice equals a packed ice. If we look over here, a silky cobble gin. So if we set up a cobble gin on a pedestal, and we enchant it with Silk Touch, we can um, put blue ice underneath and it will generate packed ice for us. How do we do this? I don't know. I don't know how to do enchanting with um, pedestals. So I say let's um, try and figure that out. Can I just enchant this with the Silk Touch? I think I did this in our last series and you cannot actually. You have to set up a pedestal enchant, like pedestals has its own enchanting mechanic. Yes. Um, so you need like a experience tank. Um, hmm. An enchanter upgrade. How do we get, like, I need to get experience out of me, fluid to experience. Converter. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Experience grindstone. Let's, uh, let me, let's pull up the wiki here for pedestals real quick. Pedestals Minecraft wiki. Because there is one. It's on GitHub. Uh, the author of the pedestal mod is MoMaster, by the way. But there is enchanting, and how do we do this? Okay, so these are the enchantments that are available. Uh, Fortune and Silk Touch have to be added by the EXP Anvil upgrade. Okay. Um, it can repair items below. Combining enchantments and infusion style structure is required. Items in the below inventory will be repaired. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, I mean, that's interesting, but how do we actually get started? How do we get experience into one of these experience tanks other than setting it up next to um, our mob farm, which we could easily do. Let's see, okay, let me, uh, let's take a nap and then we're gonna, we're gonna try and uh, figure this out. How to enchant using pedestals. Okay, so we're going to need to come down here. This is our enchanting area, so we'll kind of set this up. So the first thing that we're going to need, because ultimately what our goal is, is to put Silk Touch under the cobblestone. We need Silk Touch, because we don't have that yet. Correct? Correct. However, we have an exchanging gadget, right? We have the ability to make the exchanging gadget. The nice thing about the exchanging gadget is that it has very few enchants that can go on to it. And by very few, I mean one, which is Silk Touch. So if we take this and we put this into here, it's gonna get enchanted. It's gonna pop over to here. Look, it's got 
Soap touch. Soulbound and Tombstone Soulbound. Okay, that lied to me. It said it could only have one enchant available to it. Soulbound and Tombstone Soulbound. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is just get our regular enchanting table. Set that up. If we put that in there, um, excuse me, you're only supposed to get Silk Touch. Um, sir? I didn't get... Oh, I did get a Silk Touch. Oh, well, okay, that worked. Hey, we got one. Um, so that's what we need. Ultimately, our goal is to get Silk Touch put onto a Cobble Gen upgrade. Cobble... Let's look up at pedestals. This thing. Excuse me, sir. There we go. So we want a Cobble Gen upgrade, right? And we need to put that, this, onto this. So how do we do this? Um, so we needed an EXP Anvil. EXP Anvil upgrade is what it said. In order to apply enchants, which makes sense. That's what you use to enchant items as an anvil. So let's go ahead and grab this. How do we make this an anvil? We need a bottle of enchanting. Um, I don't have any honey. What's our best way of getting this? Just like that. Okay, let's go upstairs. Also, by the way, how are you doing? I did not mean to put that in there. Doing okay. Um, bottle of enchanting. Recipe for you, recipe for you. Dissolution chamber is this. And we're going to put this into the dissolution chamber. And now we'll be able to make bottles of enchanting. All it requires is a little bit of essence, and we have plenty of essence. So we need an anvil. And now we should be good to go to request that. And bam. All right, EXP anvil. And then we need a pedestal. How do you work, my friend? Because I want to enchant this with this. Keep in mind, remember, the book for pedestals is not, is not really implemented in this. So, yeah. We're kind of, uh, kind of working on, you know, guessing here, really, essentially. So, EXP Anvil can repair items below. The repair cost is equal. Items below will be repaired first. North, south, east, and west. Um, and then the anvil will check if there's anything to be combined. If nothing exists, it will output the item on, into the pedestal. Okay, so we need to get, let's, let's do a chest. Chest below this. And then, and we need a better chest because we need to be able to uh, open it. So we'll do an iron chest, that works fine. A pedestal. An EXP anvil upgrade. And what if I just put those in there? It says what happens is that it will... Nothing exists, it will output the item into the pedestal. Books can be added to the surrounding pedestals. Their enchants will be transferred to the item being combined. Okay, so let's take this out of there. And this out of there. And then we need to set up other pedestals. Um, so let's get some pedestals. And it says four pedestals, northeast, south, and west. Let's get our dank. Uh, what do we want to put these on? For now, cobble. Four. One, two, three, four. And then the book needs to go here, and then that there. Okay, so it hasn't pulled it up there, so that means that it's just waiting on experience. So how do we get experience into this is the ultimate, is the question. Um, at pedestal experience. Um, like I wanna be able to pull experience from myself. Experience bottler? No, because I think that's just gonna. Let me let me let me try and figure this out. Um, look through this wiki, and I will be right back. I don't want to make you guys sit here waiting for me to look through this wiki and figure everything out. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back in a few minutes. 
Okay, I think I understand how this is supposed to work. Um, I did switch this over to a barrel. I always forget that barrels exist, um, and I think it looks nicer instead of having to have that cobble there. Just looks, flows a little better, and barrels are pretty pretty nifty, and they don't require you to have to be able to open the, the lid. So, um, anyway, so in order to do this, we need, we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need a fluid to experience converter upgrade, and we're going to need a experience tank upgrade. Now the tank isn't 100% necessary, but it can store up to 100 levels. So, I mean, I guess we'll see where we end up with this. We'll try it with just the this guy and then go from there. Yeah, I see that's a good idea. Um, yeah, okay, so grindstone. Bam. And then we just need a wooden pickaxe. Should just make a bunch of uh, logs, but whatever. Or I mean, a bunch of planks, but we're already here. So, um, and then we need a pedestal. Wow, we're out of pedestals. Uh, so bam and bam, just make me a pedestal. Okay, so then the way that this guy works is it converts fluids to experience. And you may be asking yourself, what kind of fluids does it convert the Andrada? Well, it converts liquid essence. So if we get a quantum entangle porter, oh look, we conveniently have one ready to go. Let's uh let's clear it out just in case it's you know got something in it. Um we put this down here and we go to our essence output. We're gonna set it to there, and we're going to set our fluids to output to the top. This should be converting, and you can see we have particle effects, so it is working. So if we take our linking tool, uh, which is right here. I remember the linking tool is backwards. It's from receiver to sender. So if we shift right click here and then shift right click here, look, it did it. So what it did is it converted some essence into um, experience and then it sent it over to this guy who has a uh, little buffer and everything. And it did the enchant. And we got a silk touch cobble generator ready to go. That is enchanting with pedestals. It can get more advanced. Um, so like if we, to demonstrate enchant, say we have like unbreaking two and unbreaking two, and then we throw some diamonds as a catalyst onto one of these. Don't know how many diamonds it's gonna need. So let's just, uh, Let's just, let's just test this out. So we are gonna put diamonds there. We're going to go ahead and put an unbreaking book in there and it did something. What did it do? Um, oh, if we put this here maybe, and then we put this here. There, it combined the two. It used some of the diamonds. It did not use any of the diamonds. It combined the two books into unbreaking three because it used the experience. To get above, um, you have to get higher than the uh, level three or level 30. That's when it requires diamonds. So like if we had unbreaking three and unbreaking three, and then we're gonna end up with unbreaking four. So let's do this and then this. There's probably not enough experience. And that's where needing a tank is gonna come in play. But anyway, that's how that works. Give me that, give me those. That's uh, combining above vanilla Minecraft limits with pedestals. Then you just need an experience tank. You can set this capacity, you can set this up, an experience tank, get capacity upgrades, and then that way you can put capacity upgrades on this, so that way it can do its thing, yada, yada, yada. Pretty cool, pretty nifty, we're good to go. We got the upgrade that we needed, and that's what we're here for. So with that being said, let's go ahead and work towards getting our first blue ice and then we'll be able to start making craft packed ice from it. So we need to make packed ice first, which is pretty easy. We have ice essence, so we're good to go. And then a blue ice is just this, bam. And it's as simple as that, folks. Let's get another pedestal um, with our linking tool in here. And I do want to get a pedestal speed upgrade. Um, do I have, or did I use? I used. So let's get, um, where's that pedestal? Where is the speed book? Let's go ahead and get a speed five. 
And remember, we can easily get speed five just by doing this. Bam. So it's going to pull it off of there. And we can take it back. We don't need more than one for now. Um, and then we just need a regular, regular anvil to do this. Oh, actually, do we? Eh, we may need to actually, uh, to get the speed book, let's just, uh, let's use our pedestal enchanting system here. Does this require more than 30? We will find out. Nope. There we go. Now this has speed five, so it's going to generate uh, the blue ice or packed ice even faster. Okay, let's go back up top. We need to set this up somewhere so that we can get this into the system. And then from there, the packed ice is going to turn into blue ice. Um, correct? Yes. And then the recipe for this is blue ice. And then the usage of this is going to go. Oh, you just make regular ice if you do that. Um, and then you're going to go into the energizing orb to make blue ice. So let's go ahead and teach the system real quick that dry ice is this. And we're going to put that into our energizing orb, which is at the bottom. Okay, so let's go to our storage and automations area. Luckily, this doesn't require power or anything, so it just needs an importer. Um, so we can just set it up right here. We are quickly running out of room for things in this room, by the way. Yeah. We don't even need an importer. We just need an external storage to sit on this bad boy. Um, let's get him to face the proper direction. No. Excuse me. Am I out of those? No. Dark oak slabs. I am shift clicking. Interesting. Put that there and get rid of that because I realize now that I got to put this there. Blue ice. And we're going to put this here. Bam. It's going to start creating packed ice. How much does it have in there? It's already got 100. Like that is ridiculously quick. Uh, so we just need an external storage. And we'll have access to all of this packed ice without even need to putting it into a drawer, which is uh, something I am a fan of. Bam. And bam. And now we have packed ice, right? Packed ice, 511. That speed five on there is quite ridiculous. Um, okay, so that was that. Then we just need to teach the system that blue ice is made like this. And that's just a standard craft. Uh, let's just go ahead and, you know, make sure we're filling out all of our slots. And then that's pretty much, that's pretty much all we need. Now we just need to go and get a, um, we need to get one dry ice, right? So let's go ahead and request a dry ice. And we already got it because it, it only takes 10,000 RF to make this. Um, and then we're going to go over here to our power. We already have a crafting card on this bad boy. So we just need to do this and this. And now dry ice is going to start showing up in here. And it should have requested 64. And it's going to start importing dry ice into here, which is going to make this even cooler, which means it's going to be even more efficient, which means it should generate even more solid coolant. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, finally, it, it clicked over. Uh, so there we go. We got solid coolant. So now we're generating 19,000 RF per tick with this guy. And our temperature is dropping, which means we're going to be using less uraninite. You can see that dropping now. We're going to be using less redstone and less carbon. So, wow, that actually drops significantly. Well, because this is backstuffing. Yeah. So it just depends on how, uh, you know, this will drop down and then fill back up. But, yeah, pretty darn efficient, I would say. And that is pretty much the best we can get except for ether gas inside of here. Um, which we are going to need for other crafts, too, eventually when we get into um, more advanced. Uh, what is this called? Industrial foregoing. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get an ender chest on this guy. And as far as I know, this is also how we get. Um, no, not you. That's not what I wanted. Uh, this is also how we get. Yeah, rock crystal. We need to start diving into uh, astral sorcery, which is pretty cool. 
platinum ore. Why 1 to 25? I wonder why that just says platinum ore. Um, so if we break this, it's going to make a giant mess, and that's okay with me because we can just do this and then put all this stuff away. And there we go. And now, really, if we wanted to, we could set up even more of these laser drills. Though I don't know if it's necessary. These things are actually running pretty quickly. Um, and I don't know if we necessarily need the green laser lens focus. Of the ore laser base, what 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 is something that we want to focus on? Osmium, nether. Like, what's something that we can only get through here? Dimensional shard ore, um, emerald ore, rune stones. Like... I'm not entirely sure, like, what is the best thing for us to set this to? Stella Arcanum is pretty nice. Um, Inferium, Prosperity, Silver, Glowstone, Appetite, Vintium, Diamond Ore, Uranium. Like, all this stuff, like, I mean, we're getting all of this stuff anyway, so I don't know if there's really anything like that we super-duper crazy need from this. So I'm going to go ahead and say that that is, four of those is pretty much where we want to be. So I think now, finally, we're at the point where we can begin. So we did this, we did this, we did this, this, and this. So on our to-do list, all that's left is our enchanting shelves and I want to go ahead and throw as many of these things down as I can see what the heck we can do with our enchanting um, so with that being said in order to get these we have to go to the end and we need dragon's breath so with that being said I think it's time to start working towards our armor let's look up so all the modium we end up with 24 we have enough unobtainium we have 28 and then there's vibranium we also have 28 of that. Um, but I think the unobtainium is the way to go for us. 600, I mean, that's pretty darn ridiculous. Like, ah, we need vibranium. Ah, we need all the modium. Ooh, did not know that, but we have it all. So we can actually get through all this. So let's go ahead. Um, so let's go all the modium. And we're gonna need a full set of all the modium gear. So there's that, pants, and then boots. And then we need to upgrade this to vibranium. I hope we have enough vibranium. Yes. And then we need to upgrade all of this to unobtainium. The ultimate armor. That's a lot. Wait, it's not unobtainable? For the quests, what did we get from that? We're in the end game now. Do we get anything from that? Um, oh, we get furnace upgrades. Tilling AOE for augment. Okay. And it's a premium water can. We'll take that. Um, I don't know if I want... I mean, that that is going to be super fast flight. I don't know if I necessarily want an unobtainium jetpack. Um, because, yeah, it's going to be super fast, as it says. Um, so what do we get? A Vibranium to Unobtainium Furnace Upgrade. That's actually not too bad, because that's actually pretty darn expensive to make because of all the Unobtainium, so... All right. Um, Tilling AoE 5, or 4 Augment. So if we put this on a Mystical Agricultural Hoe, it will till in an AoE 4. It's a Tier 5 upgrade. The Watering Can is really nice, though. Um, but let's go ahead and do this and put all this stuff on. And I forgot I can't put on the chest piece. But yeah, we're pretty much invulnerable now at this point. Curious what's going to happen if I go into here and I, you know get hit all right i don't want a creeper to explode in here though that would not be cool also spiders get the heck down all right get out of here i wanted what i wanted to do was turn the other thing on um 
but pretty much I have a feeling we're just, you know, nothing's going to happen to us. Uh, oh, so this can finally turn off. We finally back stuffed there. And then we can turn that guy back on. Start crushing them this way. Because I want to go into it. Oh, okay. Well, it still does enough damage to kill me in the mob masher. That is good news. Not really. Because I forgot about this part. Um, yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> we're in this predicament again. You know what I need to do? I need to put a chest up here with ender pearls so that I can just <laughs> enchant this key with an ender pearl. I have to try to do the jump again and then get up there. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, this is fun. Okay. Unobtainium armor does not make you immune to your mob masher because it does just crazy amounts of damage. Just uh, something to keep in mind, folks. Uh, good to news. Good to know, you know. For, oh, too far. This is actually harder than it looks, guys. Into the water. Got it. Third try is the charm. And remember how I was saying last episode, you know, we set this up for a specific reason because, uh, yeah, well, this is the reason. Ender Pearl, key. Give me the enchanted key. Get out of here. Take me to my grave up there. Um, excuse me. Thank you. And then give me my grave and let me out of here. I earned one level from my for Coriel's tombstones. Okay, cool. Well, hey, uh, Mob Masher is still stronger than Unobtainium Armor, in case you were wondering how that works. I, I I have no excuse for that, to be honest with you. Like, I just, I really don't. None whatsoever. That was on me, completely. Um, but anyway, yeah, so there we go. Unobtainium armor, we just now, you know, broke it, but we need to get mending on there. We need to get unbreaking. Actually, there's the uh, Stella thingies. Eternal Stella. What is the recipe for this? All the modium, vibranium, and then these expectrified ores, and then a stellarite piece. And if I remember correctly, the stellarite pieces come from the stellarite. Don't you come from the uh, ore? What's that ore? Because we have the expetrified ore. That's where we get those other things. And there is stellarite or something along that line. Stop moving around. Maybe that's what we want to focus on in our. Yeah, what if we go to or laser and then it was something in here uh like cinnabar nickel arcane or stella arcanum maybe that's what we should focus on that is a gray laser lens so yeah all right in between episodes i'll set this up and let's focus on gray laser lens and get stella arcanum because i don't think i have any because that what what you want to do with that is this will make three items um unbreaking indestructible and I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can use this on the Vibranium in the Unobtainium. So we can make our armor completely unbreaking. We'll take no damage, uh, which is pretty dang awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. I'll go ahead and make those gray laser lens in between episodes. And, uh, yeah, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.